Welcome to our introduction of the Managed Service Provider feature of the Hybrid Cloud Platform from HPE GreenLake. This video is part one of a multi-part series designed to help you get started with this feature on the platform. In this session, we will briefly introduce what an MSP is, demonstrate how to create an MSP workspace, and then show you how to set up a customer workspace. In subsequent videos, we will delve into topics such as device, user, subscription management, and more. The platform provides a flexible and scalable infrastructure that allows service providers to optimize their offerings and meet diverse customer needs effectively. Key use cases of the MSP feature include operating and optimizing customer environments, setting up new customers efficiently, integrating with existing tools, and managing employee life cycles. Each of these use cases illustrates the versatility of the platform in supporting various operational needs, ultimately leading to enhanced customer satisfaction and streamlined processes. One of the significant advantages provided to users of the platform is that many configuration and management tasks can be performed once and applied to multiple customer workspaces. This eliminates repetitive tasks across multiple customers. Previously, tasks such as configuring identity providers for access, logging into workspaces, and managing network devices had to be performed separately for each customer. With the platform, these tasks can now be executed simultaneously for all customers, saving time and reducing operational overhead. Finally, let's discuss the business models available for MSPs. There are two primary models based on device and subscription ownership. In the first model, the MSP owns both the devices and subscriptions, allowing for full management of the environment. In contrast, the second model involves co-management with the customer, where responsibilities are shared. This flexibility enables MSPs to tailor their services according to client preferences while ensuring effective management of resources. Now let's take a closer look at what all this means by exploring a live environment. Upon logging into the platform, you may see multiple workspaces or none if you're starting from scratch. Simply scroll down to find the Create Workspace option. Clicking on this will guide you through the process of creating a new workspace. The first option you'll encounter is to choose between creating a standard enterprise workspace or an MSP workspace. For this demo, we'll select the MSP workspace option. Then proceed to complete the rest of the form keeping in mind that some fields are mandatory. A key point to note is that even if you select a country such as India, during workspace creation, you'll still have the flexibility to deploy devices to other region in accordance with HPE policies. When viewing the MSP workspace, one key difference for, from an enterprise workspace is the additional customers tab at the top. The MSP workspace in the platform is specifically designed for service providers to manage multiple customer environments from a single location. This enables efficient monitoring, resource allocation, and service delivery across all clients. With this centralized setup, MSPs can streamline operations and effectively manage resources across all customer environments. Now let's click on the Customers tab to explore its features. Here you'll see a list of all customers under the MSP workspace. To get started, we'll create a customer workspace and review the details that appear. Click on Create Customer Workspace and then the first option will prompt you to choose whether the devices and subscription will be owned by the customer or the MSP. Complete the rest of the form and then click Create Workspace. In this video, we'll set up two workspaces, one with customer-owned subscription and devices and another with MSP-owned. Here we are in the Customer tab in this MSP workspace where you can view and manage all customer workspaces. 
I've created two sample workspaces, Bank of India and Sugar Dust Bakers. Each row shows details like the description indicating who owns the devices and subscriptions. For Sugar Dust Bakers, ownership is with the MSP, while Bank of India shows customer ownership. Country specifies the customer's location with both here in India. The created column displays the setup date and last visited shows the most recent access date. Currently, both the workspaces have zero devices or subscription associated. But this count will update as resources are added. Now let's dive into the workspace of Sugar Dust Bakers, which is an MSP-owned customer workspace. In this setup, as a managed service provider, we have complete control over the devices and subscriptions within the workspace. You'll notice that the Devices tab is not present here, as the MSP is the one managing these resources, not the customer. Instead, the focus is on user management, service subscriptions, and configuring the workspace itself. The Manage Workspace option here allows us to configure users, manage access, and set up more detailed settings for this workspace. If we switch over to a customer-owned workspace like our Bank of India workspace, you'll see a slightly different view. So let me show you that now. Here we are in the Bank of India workspace, which is a customer-owned workspace. Unlike the MSP-owned setup, this workspace allows the customer to take control of their own devices and subscriptions. As you can see, we have an additional option in the Quick Links panel like Device Inventory, which let the customers directly manage their assets. The Devices tab is available here, giving customers the ability to view, configure, and monitor their own devices and services. This setup provides more flexibility for customers who want direct involvement in managing their IT resources while still benefiting from the guidance and support of the MSP. To return to the MSP workspace, simply click on the customer workspace name at the top left and select Return to MSP Home. Thank you for joining this overview of the MSP functionality in the platform. Today, we explored what an MSP is, walked through creating an MSP workspace, and demonstrated the two types of customer workspaces, MSP-owned and customer-owned. We hope this has given you a clear understanding of how MSPs can streamline management and enhance customer experience. Stay tuned for upcoming videos in this series, where we'll explore topics like user and device management, subscriptions, and automation capabilities. Thanks again for watching.